sometimes my skin be responding and sometimes it's just like what do you what do you think that you're doing <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Ariana Marie, and welcome back to Ari's Lounge. So, as you've read by the title up above, we are going to be doing a self care Sunday routine. Um, I, I just wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about some of the staples that I used in 2023 that definitely need to come with me or possibly you into 2024. Of course, there's some new products mixed in, but some of these are kind of like my holy grail. So, I have things from skincare to your insides to all of that. But, number one note, make sure you drink some water and mind your business like for sure like that's number one skincare self-care routine tip of the day of the week of the year the next decade or so whatever definitely need water to hydrate your skin from the inside and you need to mind your business because who else gonna mind it okay so let's go ahead and get started let me put my glasses on i'm starting out with insides first like I said, you need to drink water. I have made a New Year's resolution to make sure that I increase my water intake. Um, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to drink a gallon of water a day. So if you can drink a gallon of water a day, then absolutely do that. For me personally, I take vitamins. My grandmother told me to take this. Um, it's for bone and immune health. Vitamin D3. I don't know if y'all can see that by Spring Valley. Number two by Spring Valley is biotin you know anything about skin and nails then you know most people use anything infused with biotin that sort of thing so i just take the actual uh supplement hair skin and nails um so yeah and i do take two of these and this one says take one to two times a day preferably with a meal so i just take two in the morning just to get it out the way um with my breakfast and so the next vitamin that i take is by love wellness it is a probiotic, maintains vaginal and urinary tract health while supporting normal vaginal pH level. So I do take two probiotics. This one is by 21st Century. It's called Advanced Probiotic. Yeah, it helps with my insides, so that's that. Moving along to what I actually put on my body. So, soap. <laughs> I use soap to clean myself. I don't necessarily have like, like I know how people have like that whole specific whatever they use this, that, the third. When I'm in Target, I try new things. I don't have like a specific soap that I use. Um, Actually, I lied. I always get Dove body wash. One second. The Dove shower gels, basically, Depending on how I feel, I just smell different fragrances of this one, but I always get the like Dove shower gel. If I'm feeling adventurous, I will get like a scented one by like Tree Hut. Um, there's not one in particular. I think the, the last one that I had was Coco Colada by Tree Hut. And for example, like right now, I've been using the um, Bath & Body Works Champagne Toast body wash and I have like the whole line. I actually got this for Christmas. This is the lotion that goes with it. And I have the spray. It came with um the hand soap, the whole shebang. So that's my little when I want to go to bed smelling like a rich auntie when I'm wearing pajamas basically like this on my self-care Sundays, I do use my bath and body works sort of thing. But my regular staple for every day is definitely whatever dove scented body wash I have for the time. Not only do I do um, body wash, I do the deodorant by Dove as well. And I try my best to get ones that match like the shower gel and the deodorant are both lavender. And that's what I'm on right now. As far as what I've been using on my actual skin outside of like the fragrant lotion, I'm not gonna lie, I use the white shea butter. Um, I got this from the beauty supply store and you know it comes really hard when you first um, have it So what I did was I bought like some vitamin E oil I believe it was or 
no, it was vitamin C oil just to brighten my skin. Um, I put this in the microwave, melted it, then poured um, the vitamin E, vitamin C oil in there, and then put it in the freezer. And it was like soft like butter, so obviously shea butter. Um, yeah, I actually need to go to the store and get some more of this because I actually really like how this feels on my skin. Let's go a little bit deeper. Um, grooming myself as far as hair. I personally, I've only gotten one bikini wax one time because that was enough. It was painful and it's crazy because I have a high pain tolerance and that wasn't doing it for me. That's just abnormal. Not to say that I wouldn't get it again, but I need to brace myself a little bit. That was, it was just, it was too much. But what I did do is I purchased this at home wax kit off of Amazon. I will leave it in the description. Um, so that you, if you guys want to get one or this one in particular, you absolutely can. Um, it came with, of course, some gloves, the pre and post wax um, spray, the sticks. I think it, it came with four of these uh, beads. And then of course the, the wax warmer. And I used this on my underarms. I used it on my legs as well. So um, yeah, but that whole trying to do the bikini area by myself. No, I need a professional to do that. Cause I tried it one time and I was like, look, this is literally pain and torture. And I don't know why I would make a silly mistake like this, it's stupid. Okay, so moving along to my actual face. Um, of course, I start out by pulling my hair back by using one of these little headband scrunchy things. I have like so many and they're all over the place. This coming year, I need my skin to look like I just, I was just born basically. Um, it's no no way to like simply put it. Um, so what I do skincare wise is I start of course by washing my face. Um, I try to use this one to two times a week, this Mario Badescu glyco uh, glycolic acid um, foaming cleanser. Um, it literally says on here, this is what I uh, follow instructions with because there was one time I was using this every single day and then right here just started getting black and dry and my nose was like flaking up and I'm like, what's wrong? And I looked at the instructions and it said, um, use it one to two times a week or one to three times a week, um, one to two times for dry combination skin. And I have combination skin, so I'm like, that makes sense. Maybe like, I'm over here just drying my skin out. Although this clean and clear is says nighttime relaxing, I use a nighttime one for the morning and for the night. Um, when I wash my face in the morning, it's oil free. I have combination skin, so sometimes like I gotta go back and forth. It's like some things I can use oil based, some things I gotta do oil free. So yeah, you gotta do what's what works for you. But I'm just saying, if you have combination skin, then you might want to get on this wave because it might help you out. Cause sometimes my skin be responding. And sometimes it's just like, what do you, what do you think that you're doing? <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> so yeah. Um, okay. So after I wash my skin, what? After I wash my face, um, I use this Aveeno Calm and Restore. Let's see, Calm and Restore Oat Gel Moisturizer. I really like this. Um, this is my second time buying it. I feel like it just glides on my face so nicely. Um, and it makes my, feel, my skin feel really moisturized. And then sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I use my little sample Laneige Water Bank Cream. I feel like it moisturizes my face to the max. Like I don't need anything else for real. I can just use this little bit. And yeah, I've been holding on to this since I got it in the sample um, from Sephora. But for real, for real, I really need to go get the, the big version of this. I've just been trying to like feel out what I really like as my moisturizer that I'm gonna make a statement. Cause there's another one that um they have, it's like more gelatinous, but it's also like a water-based cream. But I think I'm gonna use this one being that I have um combination skin. Cause when I put it right here and hit it on the nose and all right here, Never looked like I was peeling. So, works for me. And then, um, another thing that I have now purchased twice, so I guess this is another um, holy grail for me, the Shea Moisture Papaya and Vitamin C Brighter Days Ahead Serum. So this is the thing, I wanted to buy 
the vitamin C serum from Mario Badescu because like brand wise, I just love Mario Badescu. That's my favorite like skincare expert. So yeah, whatever. Um, but it's $45 and I don't want to get in. It's just like, does vitamin C oil actually work on your skin? Is it really going to help? Um, so I might end up investing in a bottle or three of the vitamin C oil from Mario Badescu, but right now, $10.99 at Target or Walmart. I think, I don't know if I've seen it at Walmart, but Target for sure. This little baby work. I use this specifically at night. So when I wake up, it just sets into my face and it's like, ah, what's going on? It's, I'm glowing. But I also use it like after too, but I only put a little bit because it can't, it's oil. It'll make you look greasy, so I don't know what. I just recently got this out of my December Boxy Charm by Ipsy Box. Um, it's called Odicide, Odicite. Odicite, yeah. Odicite California. It's a retinol and hyaluronic acid um, serum. And I heard that hyaluronic acid and retinol are good for like discoloration and hyperpigmentation, which I got a lot of that. Maybe look like a raccoon. But it is what it is, it's hereditary, so don't do too much. Um, yeah, so I really like it. I've only been using it for like a week, um, but so far it hasn't given me any problems and we'll see what continues to persist. What, what, we'll see what, what happens, I don't, I don't know. And last but not least, I hit it with the Myel Vitamin C Under Eye Gel Drops. This, I don't, I don't know. That's to basically use one to two drops and massage underneath your eyes and stay away from your eyes. How can you massage by your eyes and it's an under eye? But stay away from your eyes. I get it, but at the same time, it's just like, what? Um, it's pomegranate and honey pomegranate and honey I don't know why I can't talk and it smells interesting um all I know is that my eyes be burning a little bit underneath and then it like makes it like pretty tight I don't know the tightness when it dries because my eyes literally be feeling like that I like that's why I continue to use it but I don't know if it's supposed to actually cause you pain or burn your eyes or whatever so yeah that's that and that's all that I use for skincare. All right, so that's all that I have for this video today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. And if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, then what are you doing? Come join the lounge. <laughs> join us. I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. The people that's been riding with me while I have my little transition of whether or not I'm gonna continue to do YouTube, I appreciate you guys and anybody that's coming in and giving me support from now. I appreciate you as well. And anybody that doesn't support, I appreciate you too. Okay? This year we are going all the way. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Why did I sound like my name was Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez? Um, I gotta go because I'm over here tweaking. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.